Oh, welcome and thank you for coming. I mean, wow. It's just so great to be able to see you all again in person. It's uh, really wonderful. So this year, we're celebrating our 45th anniversary, which as you know, is a rare event for a software company. And you know, I must say, I, I never really expected the company would ever be this old, uh, but to be honest, I also never really expected to personally be this old. <laughs> So I mean, we're planning on being here for at least another 45 years and you know, hopefully longer. And that naturally leads to the question, why have we been so successful at navigating the changing environment when so many other companies have come and gone, including companies that have dominant market positions? And what is it that we have to do to last another 45 years to continue to thrive and be vibrant and relevant? So in thinking about this, I've concluded that there's several factors. The first is continual innovation, not just in technology, but also in how we do business. This includes periodically reinventing ourselves, which is how we avoid being just a one-hit wonder. Our values, which place a premium on serving our clients and helping them be successful. Our passion for excellence, our focus on hiring and retaining the absolute best people. As you know, in a software company, the people are the business. And our financial structure, being free from the pressures of investors lets us focus on long-term success. So with the exception of financial structure, all of these are really a reflection of our company culture. And I'm gonna speak more about company culture in a minute, but first I thought it'd be nice to take a brief look at how the landscape has changed over the last 45 years. So there's been several revolutionary changes over this time, all of which can be summarized as increasing the accessibility and usefulness of computing. Many computers, PCs, networks, GUI, the internet, and the increasing use of web-based user interfaces, you know, most recently cloud computing, and now, of course, artificial intelligence which is the newest wave, which we've been both building into our product suite as well as partnering with others uh, to provide. So throughout these ways, we have focused on our core strengths, high performance database with rapid application development and integration capabilities. This focus has required us to stay current with new advances so that we can help you leverage these new technologies when you're ready to do so. In addition, we have always focused on expanding performance to remain the highest performing database in the market. Higher performance unlocks new opportunities, but I mean, to be perfectly honest, we also just really enjoy making it faster. So, you know, the changes in performance over the years have been absolutely astonishing, absolutely astonishing. So we use a simple measure of performance, which is the number of global references per second. Global reference is basically a data, simple database access. It could be setting a piece of information or retrieving a piece of information. In 1984, we attained 212 global references per second on a PDP 1170, and we thought we were doing great. Today, we have live systems performing over 100 million references per second. And the lab, we've attained 500 million references per second. I mean, those are astonishing numbers. That's, that's over a factor of over two million times the performance that we got 40 years ago. So this chart shows how the performance has changed over just the last uh, 20 years. Uh, there's two slides here, two lines here. One is what's in use and the other is what we had in the lab. And these show uh, performance that we had with cache A. And as you can see, if we can go to the next, the introduction of IRIS has really accelerated uh, this curve. So with that, let's talk about the future. The only tech companies that will survive long term are those that are innovative. Size alone is no guarantee of survival. Of course, innovation by itself is also no guarantee of survival. It's necessary, but not sufficient component. Another critical component is focused on our understanding our clients' needs and what will make them successful. That means understanding your pain and how it impacts your business and then coming up with creative solutions. So how do you sustain this 
long term. After all, every company is innovative and attentive when it starts. You sustain innovation and client focus through culture. A culture that values innovation will attract innovative people. A culture that embraces client success will attract people who want to help others and provide value. In fact, I believe that a strong company culture is one of, and perhaps the, strongest predictors of future success. Now, our, cul our culture is probably best described by this phrase. A creative technology partner with a passion for excellence and client success. We call it our vision, but it's really a statement of our DNA. I'm proud that we have a strong, self-perpetuating culture, one that's much larger than myself or any one individual. I know this because I see employees living it every day, in internal meetings, in client visits, and in their dedication to their work. And now, let's turn our attention to succession. How do we ensure this culture will continue, and how do we ensure that the company will survive when I'm gone? Well, first of all, I'm not planning on going anywhere soon, uh, so you're stuck with me for a while. But to answer the question, strong, stable cultures are hard to change. And when it does come time for a new CEO, it will be somebody who embraces and lives our values and our culture. It will also be somebody with a very strong technical background who loves technology. In addition, I have made arrangements to ensure that the company remains private in perpetuity, free from the financial pressure of investors that could affect our culture and long-term focus. Finally, we would never have lasted even five years without you, our partners. I and everyone at InterSystems feel honored by the trust you've put in us, and we will do everything we can to continue to deserve and earn that trust. With your help, we will be here at least another 45 years. With that, I say thank you. Thank you for your business, and thank you for being here today.